with just two episodes of the season remaining, there's still a lot to be done. We have drastically improved in recent times. We've managed to pull ourselves up from the bottom three into the top of the bottom half. We're 13th at present with 10 games to go for us, nine games to go for the majority of the rest of the table, although uh, a couple of other sides still have extra games to play Ipswich with a 15 point lead at the top of the table, also have two games in hand, one of which is ours. So I think the title's gone for anyone else. I don't think anyone's going to be catching them, but still wide open for the second and third automatic promotion spots. As you can see, Scunthorpe have a game in hand. They could go up to 60 points, which would take them into third place. And to be fair, from third, there's only three points down to ninth. So we're aiming for the playoffs if we can get there. The gap is currently eight points. We could cut that to five with victory in our game in hand. We dropped... Vital points yesterday with a draw against Exeter and bottling a 2-0 lead against Macclesfield. We could have been on 52 points with a game in hand. And that would have put us right in the mix. So we really have to be at our absolute best today. With Warsaw to start, with then Morecambe away after that, Port Vale at home, Plymouth at home and Salford away. I'm going to play Warsaw. I'm going to sim Morecambe, then I'll probably play Port Vale, sim Plymouth, and play Salford. We shall wait and see how things go, but the most positive thing is that our form has drastically improved with the alteration in formation and just a new, fresh approach to playing our football. We've been able to get ourselves a drastic improvement in form. Unfortunately, we're now missing Abadia for two months. I believe he'll be back before the end of the season. Eight weeks is left on his injury. He should be back for the game against Ipswich. So if it comes down to that, that'll be a very big plus for us. I was going to move Ngoy out wide and have Abadia and Adobiejo up top with Ngoy on the left and Amatey on the bench. Obviously, Abadia's subsequent injury has halted that plan. But we're pleased with how things are going so far. This 4-1-2-1-2. Brown has been continually improving at centre mid. And uh, you guys are very, very keen on us keeping him for the majority, if not all, of this save. He's certainly got the potential to be one of our best ever youth players. Uh, Conseil Sal, we're continuing to hold faith in. I'm tempted to change Dominic Wright's position once I call him up from right back to centre back. Because obviously he's much more suited to a centre back role. So it's, it's no different, I guess, to retraining a player on FM to play in a different position. So we kind of do similar to what we did with um, with Cano, where we wouldn't outright change their position, but we would alter them so they had a second position that they can play in. Marcus Wilson, you guys are keen on him coming up to be involved in the first team picture next season and maybe moving Harrison Dunk on. Uh, Charlie Robinson, not sure what to do with him yet. Physically looks okay, could do with some more strength, but certainly acceleration, sprint speed, balance and agility-wise, he looks decent so far. Okay curve as well. Still could do with a lot of training, though. Dominic Evans is probably our best potential youngster, as things stand. Physically looks very good already, and technically just needs the improvements, and I'm sure he'll be a very good right-back for us. And Bradley Murphy, he's probably not... Uh, going to be as good as we initially hoped, but we'll wait and see. But very keen on uh, Dominic Evans coming up sooner rather than later to be involved in the squad. And uh, I'm not sure about Charlie Robinson and Dominic Wright. We'll wait and see. And Marcus Wilson. I don't think I really need any more youngsters. I think we can concentrate on what we've got for the time being. We have Brown, Avadia, Conseil Sal, uh, Clark, as well as all of the youngsters in that you set up currently and Cano so with those few and of course real life players maybe some free agents that we can pick up as well I don't see any reason at this current minute in time to really build the squad any further than it currently is because the, the more we bulk up the squad just the thinner on the ground the training is going to be and the harder it's going to be to make everybody reach their potential and grow properly uh, we will play go on then we'll play in the away kit Warsaw away then to start us off, travelling up to the Birmingham area. 
and we shall tackle our first opponent today and hopefully get a win to kick start us off again. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, of course, so you don't miss out on any more of this series. You guys are really enjoying it, so thank you very much for your continued support. I'm really enjoying it too, despite the fact that the past few episodes, well, this season has been a bit of a struggle, and I may have complained a bit. I am still enjoying recording this save. I always rejoy enjoy recording the Cambridge United save. Let's crack on. Let's get another win. Walsall's 11. Howland Lavery on the bench this time. Shea Face is a decent defender as well. Alfie Bates in their midfield. Just a, a straight 4 4 2 for them. We've moved away from this formation now, although we are still pretty similar. We'll see which comes out on top. Probably neither now said that, and we'll get a draw. <laughs> I really could do with as many three point hauls as possible between now and the end of the season if. We're to pull off the most remarkable turnaround in Chesnoy gaming career mode history. And Ngoy is in behind here to start things off. And I'll lay this across. And a mate, she can get there. Can't get there ahead of the defender. Oh. A chance missed to start off the episode. Unbelievable. I was certain we were going to get a goal scorer opportunity there. But the pass just wasn't quite accurate enough. Had a bio. Nice block by Collins. Unfortunately, Brown's pass is picked off. Maris trying to do some defensive work, even though he's forward at camp. Gordon. One, two. Oh, one, two, three. Comfortably enough. Saved by Mitov, though. Down the line there to Adebayo. And intercepted by Amechi. Oh, I kicked that straight to Adebayo. Well, that's gone well. Rojas. Back here to Norman. Nice tackle by Don Brown. He's so good. One of the best youngsters, I think we've had in an RTG in a central midfield position in that kind of CDM role. I'll look for him again here. It's actually going to go to Leon Davis, who's missed the target. All the time in the world to think about that and find the target. And he's missed it, unfortunately. He does only have like 30-something finishing, so I can let him off. But the pass was meant for Don Brown initially. So frustrating that it didn't go to him. Noyle has done well there at right back to get to that. And Kinsella will beat Adebayejo to it. Continue to try, get ourselves a goal to go in front. Actually, one thing I've just remembered is that now we've changed this formation, it's moved Adebayejo to the right again, and we want Adebayejo at left striker. I'll have to do that back in the menus as well. We definitely get more out of Adebayejo when he's on the left. Uh, and Goy bumped off it there, and no foul given. The referee tells him to get to his feet. We'll send a matesy down the line, and he's going to have the pace to get there. Now, can he find a teammate in the middle? We'll look for Adebayejo or in goal! Gorgeous ball over. Brilliant finish. We lead by a goal to nil. Pin point accurate with the ball across. Just floating it over the defender who couldn't quite get there. And Ngoy with a simple tap in, really. But it was all about the delivery. It just needed to be high enough to get over the defender and drop in time from Goy to tuck it away, which he's done really well. On the half hour mark, Cambridge 1, Warsaw 0. Very good goal. Rojas inside. Nice little one-two. He's in behind here, Rojas. Decent delivery. Keeper's going to... Oh, my God. Mitov. Dimmy, What are you doing? Kicked against the leg of Kano, thankfully. Not the arm as he was falling forward. Otherwise, we might have risked giving away a penalty. I don't know what Mitov was doing there. Get rid, please. Again. Again! Clear the ball with B, goes to the edge of the box, not away from goal. And straight to a defensive player who volleys it home first time. Great finish, take nothing away from that. But for fuck's sake, these clearances are so broken. Shitty game mechanics costing us again. We're going to have to go and score a second. Gordon, cross here to McDonald. Give me that. I didn't foul him. I just ran into him, if anything. Brown. Oh, it's a beautiful ball around the corner. And if we can find Ngoy, we're in behind. And surely this has to be 2-1. Surely, surely, surely. I couldn't resist. I had to, just to make sure. <sighs> He's magic, you know. We've got a by Angel. He's magic, you know. Yes! Screw you, shitty game mechanics. Cambridge 2, Walsall 1. Inside there to Adebayejo. 
holds the ball up well and Brown and Maris could be through that gap. Maris is through that gap. Maris can't score. It falls to a mate, you know, and on his left foot, he can't score. But Ngoy will turn home the ball. 3-1. Daylight. Clear. Two goal daylight. That should be three points to start us off today. Get involved. Donald. We'll drop back. Mullet. Kinsella. McDonald. Mollet again. Mollet. I don't know if he's French or not. McDonald to Adebayo. Ah, oh, good block. I was worried there. Oh, Brown. Maris caught on it, but free kick given. Oh, dearie me. Sinclair through the gap to Adebayo. Away, please. Yep, that's away. <laughs> Pretty decent clearance. Sinclair through to Adebayo. Walsall have had all of the play of late. We haven't had an opportunity to... Try and get the ball forward in recent minutes to try and extend our lead or even just give our defence a bit of a break. Oh, it's a terrible pass from Brown. Looking for Adebayo. Or Adebayo Ejo, sorry. They've got Adebayo. And here he is. Into Castanier. I've been... Oh, Mitov. That's better. That's much better. I didn't think he was going to get to that. And somehow he's pulled out a worldy save. That's the meat of we've come to know and love in the RTG from FIFA 19. That's the meat of we had last season. Hopefully, he will start to improve and continue to make those sorts of saves for the remainder of not just this season, but this save. He was incredible for us last season, kept us in a number of games, and he was incredible for us on FIFA 19 as well, when we needed him all the way up to the championship level. Before we brought in much higher rated players and of course the scout future star in Vagel as well. Oh here's Luke Hannon. I'll lay this across here to Conse Sal. Oh who has his shot blocked and unfortunately the rebound won't fall for him. Well up and Goy. Not necessarily aimed well but at least he won the header well. Conse Sal looking for Dallas. Adebayo looking through there to Hannon. Drilled across. Oh and it won't quite reach Andy Dallas. Wasn't really drilled either, was it, to be fair? Oh, it's hit Page on the back and stayed in. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Conte Sal. Oh, Adam Ajo made it. He was in the gap and then made a different run. That's annoying. Oh, look for Andy Dallas here, though. That's a foul. Free kick. Conte Sal is on the field and he can take free kicks quite well. He scored a cracking one against uh, Manchester City, didn't he, earlier on this season in the cup. 30 yards is a long way out and he doesn't have much power, so I'll try and put plenty on it. I mean, the keeper didn't have to move, did he? We're still going to get a 3-1 win here against Walsall. And that's a brilliant way to start the episode off. We were superb in front of goal. And Mitov made a couple of important saves. And they made the most of oh, my crappy clearance. But three points and a win. Now, does that move us any closer to the top half? We were four points behind 12th place. So we weren't going to be moving up in the table from that result. But a six-match unbeaten run is continuing to show signs that we might get closer and closer to the playoffs as, ting, as things, apparently I've gone all urban, as things go by. Yes, we are a point behind Walsall, who we just beat. The playoffs are six points away and we have a game in hand. It might be happening. Dave is... Darling was the last one we did there. Oh, it was that one tackling. Regens 2 is up next. Oh my god. I need to get um, Wilson's pace up, actually. I don't know whether his uh, pace stats have actually gone up at all. I'm not sure. Because he's only in the 60s for pace. And if he's going to be a decent... Oh no, I wanted to reject that. Shit. I might just let Greg Taylor go out on loan for a year. Oh, for crying out loud. Right, I said I was going to... Oh, how, how are we going to work this? Let's have a look at the table, actually. It's probably the best way to try and figure out what to do. Oh, Conce Sal, 66 rated now. That's good. Carruthers growing nicely, too. Brown's passing's up at 73, which is good. And reactions have got very high, which is why his interceptions have been so good. Right, let me swap Adebayejo and Ngoy around. Prefer them that way around, don't we? And then, where are Morecambe in the league? So I was going to play Morecambe. No, Sim Morecambe, then play Port Vale, wasn't it? That was what the way around I was going to do it. And then Sim Plymouth and play Salford. So, 
we'll, we'll sim with this team. Going off of Harrison Dunk. Let's make sure we reject it on this occasion. Please, Greg Taylor, reject that move. I don't think he will though. And then I'm gonna have to take I'm gonna have to take Avadia out of this lineup for Dallas. And then we shall put Adebayeto on the bench. Right. Do I sim with this team maybe to make sure my strongest team is available for the game against? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna sim with my strongest team. And hopefully, everybody will be able to uh, to be fully fit to play in the game against Port Vale, at least as fit as possible. Well, they're not in the best of runs at the minute, Morecambe. Lost to Steven. He's got hammered by Ipswich. And Ngoy gives us an early lead. Which fills me with confidence that we should get a result here. As we approach half-time, that lead is still intact. Page with an injury, though. That's not what we need. Please don't be out for too long. Dunk has come on for him now. Still a 1-0 lead there. 1-0 lead extended with a second for Ngoy. And that is that. Another win for Cambridge United. And into the top half we go. And we have two games in hand now. The playoffs are seven points away. And we have two games in hand. I mean... We we got to the playoffs last year and still lost. So it's not a guarantee of promotion. Page is out for three days. He won't be fit for the game against Port Vale. But Harrison Dunk will be able to come on and play in his place. Dimi Mitov is away on international duty. But he's still here for this game. And we should be able to deal with that level of fitness. In fact, I might take a matey out for Hannon just to have a little bit more stamina on the wings. Outside of that, I think that's where we'll leave it for now. Clark, five-star wheat foot. I didn't realize he had five-star wheat foot. If I did, I forgot. Continue to train him. I don't think he's gonna be good enough to have an impact as of yet though, but right then, into the game at home against Port Vale we go. If we win it, we could go up further towards the playoffs, but we will need to win it to do so. Port Vale line up with Mark Cullen up top again and David Amu in their midfield. Now, if you recall last year, we missed out on automatic promotion by a point. And in a simulated game against Port Vale towards the end of the season, David Amu, a former Cambridge United player in the last month, scored a 92nd minute equaliser for Port Vale against us. That goal single-handedly stopped us getting automatic promotion to League One. I'm not sure if we might have gotten relegated from League One if we'd have been as bad as we were earlier on this season in the League above. So maybe it's a godsend that we didn't go up because we might have found ourselves back in League Two in the third season anyway. But we certainly were denied automatic promotion by a former player. And here he is on the right-hand side again. And he is quick. Thankfully, Harrison Dunk should have the pace to deal with him. Oh, and Cullen has his shot saved at point-blank range by Dimi Mitov. And Adebayeja gets that under control really nicely. I'm going to need the support of teammates around me, though. Oh, dear me. We should have been 1-0 down there, I think. How Mitov has made that save, I'm not sure. He's improving in his performance, certainly now, Dimitar Mitov. We needed him to do so. And I'm glad that he has. Because we elected not to sign Will Norris on a pre-contract uh, earlier this season. And keep the keepers we have. Maris through that gap. Adebayejo to Ngoy. Oh, trying to power his way through but can't do it. Can we keep that in maybe? No, we'll take the throw. Conlon. Oh, intercepted by Noyle. And Pote's free. But can't switch player quickly enough to get to the loose ball. Oyeleke over the top. Away by Dunk. Capable enough at left back at this level, Harrison Dunk. And he's been a good player for us in this save so far. There have been some calls to see him replaced because of his age and other players we have available. And it might not be long before Harrison Dunk sees his first team or even rotation team spot go. But I think I'll keep him at the club just for numbers whilst we're still at League 2 and League 1 level. Conlon over the top here. Noyle intercepts, but he can't get the ball away from Lloyd, who delivers well. Dunk flicks the ball away. 
Whose throw is that? It is theirs. I thought Dan got something on that. It wasn't much of a touch, but it was enough. A move back to Joyce. That was one hell of a cross. And Lloyd knocks that back brilliantly to Crooks as well. Thankfully, he's given... Ah, oh, come on. He's given the ball away. Win that, please. Well up, George. Counter-attack is on. Adebayedo to Ngoy. Drop the shoulder. Ah, defender closed me down quickly. Only one shot on target for either side so far in this game. They might be having a second here, though. Oh, strange decision to go back out wide there with Lloyd. But I guess patience is their game so far. Not rushing opportunities. Can you run towards that, please, Victor? Thank you. Nicely done. Maris looking for Ngoy. And Adebayejo. And Ngoy. And Adebayejo. Yes! He's magic! You know, we've got Adebayejo! Yes! 1-0 Cambridge! Port Vale are in the playoffs as well, so three points against them brings us three points closer to at least one of the teams above us. And we would still have two games in hand. Oh, let's go! Come on! Through the gap. Adebayejo and Goy on the run. Are we about to make it two at the end of this first half? I've got a defender right with me. And Goy. Ah, oh, I just didn't quite have enough pace to get away. And then the turning side wasn't good enough. 1 0 at half time. They're taking no risks at the back, Port Vale. We've half an hour to play here. I am going to make some changes. Uh, we'll bring Dallas on for Adebayejo. Davis is going to have to come off. And we'll bring uh, a matey on. And then I think we'll save it for now. We'll keep it as it is for now. And then maybe make another change in a little while. Giving Conce Sal half an hour. I mean, his stamina is going to drop so much so that he's not going to have much extra on anyone else in a Port Vale team anyway. Andy Dallas. Oh, the first turn was great. Second turn, slightly lackadaisical. It was 1-0 against Port Vale in that game last season when they got a late equaliser that denied us automatic promotion. If they get a late equaliser here or an equaliser at all, it could be, again, the goal that denies us the chance of promotion. Although this occasion, playoffs rather than automatic. Well, there's still plenty of games to go for us this year. Sabanti on for... Oh, God. I've got to get out of the habit. No! I can't get to it. I've got nothing to say there. I couldn't get to it with any defender. These clearances, I need to get into the habit of, I, well, I don't even know, because if I, someone said in the comments, get in the habit of pressing pass or uh, X slash square, but I don't know. Oh, it bounced outside the post and spun back inside as well to make matters even worse. What a horrible own goal to concede. 1-1 one, one against Port Vale. Was so happy with that 1 0 lead, and we've gone and lost it immediately. Fuck! Conlon, Lloyd again. He's not got much to go for out wide, although someone is arriving. He tried to play it inside, and we got the block on it. A matey racing away. So some good movement here, please. Nobody did, but Dunks arrived, and Brown makes the save. I just needed one of those two in the middle to. Hold their run. And they just didn't. They both ran into the six-yard box. Oh, decent attempt by Dunk. But unfortunately, no goal. Or oh, Collins could win this header. He has. Trying to redeem himself for the own goal at the other end. But it's not going to happen. Oh, Cano's on corners again. Christ's sake. As if I didn't notice that. Inside. Ngoy. Andy Dallas. Oh, what a time it would be for Andy Dallas to score his first goal in about 20 games for Cambridge United. But it's not happened. Cano on the corner again. We'll give it to Conte Sal. Cano, unfortunately, not in the box, though. Brown's up. He's going to come back here to dunk. His touch is terrible, but we will keep possession. Amici. Cano again. Brown through that gap. Looking for Conte Sal. It's not to be. I think we're going to get... Oh, maybe not. Because I think we're going to get a draw here against Port Vale. But we might not. <gasps> Dallas! Andy Dallas! He comes up big! 
Oh, his first goal in genuinely about 20 games. And it's huge. Oh, Andy. You might have just rescued our season. I can't believe it. Andy Dallas with an Emmanuel Savvy-esque moment with such a long run without a goal. It could be massive for our season. Whoa! The emotions. I can't cope with it. Keep this lead. It makes you quickly inside to Ngoy. Oh, he's going to find Ngoy. Oh, I can't hold the defender off. I thought for a minute we might have been in for a third. There's the whistle! Oh, Andy Dallas! You might be on your way out of the club, but you might still go down in Cambridge United folklore with that goal. That continues our push up the table. They only had two shots, one on target, Port Vale. And it went in the back of the net, annoyingly. Oh my God. Huge goal from Andy Dallas. Seven games, eight games even unbeaten now. Uh, sometimes you need a bit of luck. We certainly needed... They got a large slice of luck with their goal as well. Did Port Vale make it too easy? Not as well as us. Didn't play as well as us. We are oh, 11th still as we push. We continue to push. Oh, my God. Heart rate. Oh, we're going to go and simulate the game against Plymouth. And then we'll play the one against Salford. We'll simulate with the rotated 11. Transfer offer for Kyle Noyle of £1.5 million from Hull City in the Championship. Shows how much progress Kyle could potentially make. We'll rotate with this team. I'm going to take... Uh, Maris out of that 11 though and we'll throw uh, O'Neill in just so Maris doesn't play a full uh, 90 minutes because obviously as you know let's throw Conceição in because obviously we need Maris to uh, to be fit for the next game um, everybody else so anyone else I could put on the bench just to take some of my first team players out of there we've done as much as we can there right <sighs> Plymouth at home Plymouth at home Please, they're not in bad form. Unbeaten in at least three, but we're unbeaten in eight. I'd take a point in this one. I really would. They've had their striker injured after 30 minutes, which hopefully bodes well for us. Brothers with a yellow card in the midfield. Darling with a yellow card in defence. Dallas with a goal for Cambridge again. You wait for... Ah, oh, Sarchevich equalises. You wait for one, then two come along at once for Andy Dallas. Ten minutes to go. Can we steal it late on again? No, but I said I'd take a point and I will take the point. Was that one of our games in hand? Oh, frustratingly it was. A loan offer for Ben Warman. I'm wanting to sell him, if anything. So, unfortunately, no is that answer. You are going to be played, Lewis. You were injured, mate, in the last game, if you remember. And then we played the rotation side there. So, I don't... Well, no, this can't be our game in hand. Because there are other there are other teams to still play. Obviously, we've we've got the game against Ipswich. That's going to be our game in hand. I'm corrupt. It's going to have to take Conte Sell out. There's no way he's going to be able to make any sort of impact on the bench with that. Although I'll do it in the next screen rather than uh, making it a permanent change here. And Mitov is away on international duty. I've just noticed as well. So we shall auto replace just for this game, which means Callum Burton will be in play in the away kit on this occasion and then let's put O'Neill in there put Knowles on the bench for Hannon and that's all we can do right then no, another three points here and we will be right in the mix for the playoffs Salford is second in the league so this is not an easy challenge Another, uh, they keep get, we keep getting comments in the comment section being like, every episode there's so many players that used to play for Cambridge. Well, Tom Elliott up top for Salford City used to play for Cambridge. Let's hope another former Cambridge United player doesn't again come back to haunt us. Towel over the top, but, oh, I'd say cleared away, but certainly wasn't by Kyle Noyle. Looked like a fairly easy pass to play. Trying to chase Richie Towel about. Here's Toure. Towel there again. I think it's Richie is his first name. I might be mistaken, but I think it's Richie Towel. Oh, my God. This football from Salford is unreal. Thank you, Collins. Although, again, very accurately finding an opposition man. Oh, 
Get rid, get rid, get rid. Oh, it's going to be a corner. Lucky bastard, O'Connor at the back post. Just trying to take a first touch. It was so bad it cannoned back off my man and out for a corner. Get rid. Oh, Callum. That's terrible. No. Tom Elliott wins the header. And Bruno Andrade off Collins. Jesus Christ. You can tell that Salford are a, uh, a top of the table level team, can't you? Because they have started this game on fire. Oh, this could be our first defeat for a while. It's good football. The mates he has. Maris there. And he's turned well, George Maris. Now I need people to make me good runs. And going through the gap. Oh, it will go in! Just tried to lift it over the keeper. I didn't actually get as much elevation on it as I wanted, but it was enough to put the keeper off so that even though he got to it, he couldn't keep it out. I mean, Goy won't last the full 90 because of his stamina. He's only got about 70% as we start this game. Lovely run by Adebay Ajo to open up the defence. Brilliant ball by Maris. And yeah, just lifting it was enough. I thought the keeper was going to come out and try and dive for it at my feet, so I committed to the, to the chip. He didn't, but lifting it has done just enough. He didn't have probably the animation in the game engine to be able to reach that ball. We lead by a goal to nil away from home against the team that are second in the table. Showing how much we've come on in the last few weeks in this save in game. Last few days in the series on YouTube. And the playoff hunt continues. It's Thomas Asante in behind. Support from Elliot. Comfortable enough for Burton. Not the best of efforts from Tom Elliott. He just scuffed that. Now, please. Please get rid. That was, that was me pressing A there. Just to get rid of the ball at a certain angle. And I might continue to do that. We'll have another opportunity to attempt it if we need to. From this corner as well. And it comes. I'll try and nod it away. Oh, what a block by Lewis Page. Didn't win the header in the first place on that occasion. Salford I just got me pinned and have done for the entirety of the game so far. It only seems to be these near post corners that do the flick to the edge of the box or near post crosses. Oh, mates, he's won it beautifully there and he's running all the way through here. I've got Thomas Asante on my shoulder, but he's determined to go all the way here, Amici. Oh, and he's going to win the pen. Terrible, terrible decision making by the defender. A last gasp effort by Frelkeld, and it's just the yellow. A pen for Cambridge United. I wanted to, I wanted to meet, oh sorry, a matey to go all the way there. Big dive. He deserves to take the pen for himself, a matey, after that run. He earned it. He can take it, but he won't score it. Saved by the keeper. Oh, I've not taken Cano off corners for crying out loud. Come on, Chez. My memory is so bad. I just forget to do stuff. I'll, I'll say in-game, I'm going to do this. And then I get out of the game and I'm so con so caught up in just having a commentary <laughs> that I, I forget to do anything. We'll give it to Maris. We'll give it to Maris. All right, we've got a throw, though. I've got Paige here short. Trying to get that through that gap there to... Out of Ajo. It's a lovely run by Brown, but I'm not going to be able to find him. It wasn't Brown, it was Maris. I'm not going to be able to find him. And Goy, Brown, out of Ajo's in there. And. Oh, and Goy! No! Oh, the second attempt. He's just missed the ball entirely. So close to a second. I can't believe I missed the penalty. If that costs us the chance of playoffs or automatic promotion. Probably not automatic promotion, but if that costs us the chance of playoffs, I'm going to be so angry at myself. Loose pass. Oh, okay. Elliot got to that, apparently. Brown went to try and use his feet when he sh should have committed with his head. And he'd have definitely won the ball. Here's Bruno Andrade. Oh, just out of the feet of a matey, but Paige wins it back. Oh, just get rid of it, says. Just hack it anywhere. Actually, by hacking it anywhere, we may have set ourselves up for a great second goal. Maris is here. Oh, no. The pass just couldn't come. Fuck. Richie Tell into Brown. Thankfully. Here's some goy. Don't rush it, Chez. Keep possession. Brown. 
Adebayeto's over there. Just turned well enough. Fouled. Free kick. No, I said I wouldn't take these free kicks in this position. And I wouldn't shoot with them. So I'm not going to. I'm going to bring... Well, I mean, Dallas is the one that's scored the goals. But I'll give Harvey Nibs a chance. Uh, that's just going to be the one change, I think, for now. Just the one change. Oh, do I? It's 24 yards out. It's a bit further than before. No, I'm going to I'm gonna take it short. I'm going to take it short. I may cheat. What's there to Brown? Forward to Leon Davis. Leon Davis. Oh, the touch was heavy. Oh, the defender's fallen over. Through that gap. Oh, no. Oh, God, this is not really going as smoothly as I'd hoped from that free kick. Nibs wins the ball back. Forward to Adebayejo. Looking to get out of his feet. Beat all of the defenders around him. Set up Dominic Brown to put it into the stand. Ah, balls. Go on, Amici. You could be away again. It's been a good outlet for us in this game, Amici. Nibs oh, trying to keep hold of the ball against Darren Gibson, but can't. Oh, nicely done by Brown. All right, slow it down. Let's just keep the ball. No unnecessary risks. We don't have a big margin to lean on. Still just 1-0 here. I'd be more comfortable if we scored that bloody penalty. Maris through to Brown. Looking for Nibs. Harvey Nibs. Oh, Brown. Pen. Another one. Gibson this time. Former Manchester United man. On for Richie Towle, who had a very good game. Gives away a penalty again for Salford. And we have the opportunity for a second time to score from the spot. Who's on it this time? It's Adebay Ajo. I'm going to go the same way. Oh, the keeper read me, but couldn't get there. He's magic, you know. We've got to be Ajo. 2-0 Cambridge. That was close. 2-0 still, thankfully. Win that header, Nibs. He's done well. Adebayejo will get to the loose ball as well. We'll look for Nibs again. Adebayejo can't get there on this occasion. But now I think there isn't enough time left. Oh, God, George, that touch. There isn't enough time left for Salford to score two. They could get one. Goal difference might be important at the end of the season, so I'm still going to try and keep this clean sheet. Oh, Nibs fouled from behind. Bruno Andrade with a push in the back. That'll be a yellow card. You would have thought it's a free kick for us. Can we finish it off? Into Nathan Collins. Oh. Well, I was trying to play it. It's a Dominic Brown in the edge of the box. Never mind. A 2-0 win away from home against Salford. Another huge result for us. I don't know whether it was the change in formation or the tweaking in the custom tactics or the two combined. But we've seen such a turnaround this year. We have what it takes to keep the streak rolling. Uh, I'm proud of the lads for turning up and playing so well against the side that are in the automatic promotion zone. I'm not going to say Cambridge United always wins. I'm not going to get carried away. Because we've had a really difficult season. You'll know why I made that sound in a minute. Marcus Wilson wants to be called up. An offer of 4.7 million for Dominic Brown. Wow. It was, it was Wilson, wasn't it? Oh, God. I remember to call up the right person. Marcus Wilson was the what guy that wanted to come up. The left back. Promoted to the senior squad. He will be, I'd like to hope, a very good player for us once he's finished growing. But he is going to need to continue growing first. Just 66 pace, 62 acceleration, 69 sprint speed. I hope he continues to grow. Second wind is a, a great trait to have. And he can play anywhere in defence. And he's got five-star skill moves, because of course he does. Five-star skills, three-star weak foot. In fact, he can play anywhere in defence as well. He's six foot tall. He's only got 61 jumping, though. Hmm. We'll wait and see how he develops. But our season has been drastically developing. We'll have a quick train, actually. And then, well, you, can, you might well have noticed yourselves why I made that noise a moment ago. Because we are within three points of the playoffs and still have our game in hand, albeit against runaway league 
Maybe even winners now. Ipswich Town. Oh, yes. Ipswich have won the league already. With six games to play, they've won the league. We are two points off the playoffs. And four points of the automatic promotion spots. But our goal difference is drastically worse. Can you even imagine? Can you even imagine if we pull it off? I don't even know how I'd react. A transfer offer for Harry Darling, which we shall reject. He'll hopefully continue to grow for us. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Stevenage to start us off tomorrow. We have five games tomorrow. Stevenage at home, Newport at home, Colchester away, Leighton Orient away and Ipswich at home on the final day. Tomorrow's season finale will be unbelievable. If you thought last season was tense, after everything we've been through this year, you do not want to miss tomorrow's video. I may well premiere it as well. I may well premiere it, so make sure we're all available at 3pm tomorrow afternoon. I'll schedule it and premiere it ahead of time so you guys will have seen before you see this video probably that it's going to be premiered. Oh my god. I can't believe we're in this situation. Just three episodes ago we were 22nd. Now we have the chance of maybe finishing in the top three. Finishing better than we did last year. I'll see you tomorrow.